Alright, we all know how good the One UI Home is. I would say it's neither good nor bad. Of course, it's subjective. Customization options are very limited here. The only option we get to change is the grid size and that is also restricted to 5 by 6, not more than that. Having said that, we have to appreciate Samsung for its One UI skin on top of Android, which is buttery smooth and intuitive. The best part about the skin is the good lock application which Samsung offers, which helps us in tweaking the user interface. As far as the One UI Home is concerned, I always wanted to have more customization options and while exploring, I found this module called Home Up on Good Lock. Of course, it's needless to say that the Good Lock application works on various modules which can tweak the One UI skin. So you need to download these modules separately. Now in this video, let's check out the Home Up module on Good Lock application to customize One UI Home. If you're new here and if you like what you see on this channel, make sure you subscribe. Now let's get rolling. When you open GoodLock application, you would be able to see the recently released module called Home Up. Download it and install it. Once it's done, enable the toggle. Now you will see three options. The first one will help us tweak the home screen grid and app screen grid. The maximum grid you can set is 7x7, seven seven, but I have set 6x7 here. Similarly, you can select home screen grids as well. Another toggle here enables you to control background blur when entered on application screen or app drawer. This feature is not that useful but yeah it's there. Then we have an option to loop pages on your application tray which means the scrolling doesn't stop at the last tray. The scrolling will continue and loop it to the first tray which is nice. The last toggle is to hide the application label which is a nice touch. When you look at these default icons of One UI, it actually looks cool without the labels. Alright, now let's go to the folder customization option. This first toggle is called pop-up folder. When enabled, the folders open in pop-up style like this and you can customize the background colors for the folders and alter the transparency as well. When this pop-up folder feature is enabled, the below options like folder title suggestions will be blocked, which is a bummer. Now let's disable this pop-up folder and see what this folder suggestion is all about. This feature uses machine learning to suggest the folder name when you tap on folder name. It will scan all the apps on that particular folder and suggest the name. The next option is folder grid. As the name suggests, you can change the folder grids as well as folder icon grids. But folder icon grid is kind of meaningless to me. It is not visually pleasing at all. The last option on this module is to backup and restore the home screen settings. You can select the frequency like backup every hour or once in a day. This option is available on most of the third party launchers. Alright, this seems to be just the beginning of home screen customization features on One UI Home through this module. This was recently released and got updated in July and I'm definitely hoping to see many more options to tweak the home screen especially the icon size, shapes and customizing the dock would be a great enhancement to this module. It would be really great if Samsung can offer a highly customizable home screen so that we can avoid a third party launcher. This coupled with Samsung theme store and KWGT widgets would be a great combination to create some beautiful looking home screens. Anyways, thanks for watching. Do leave a like if you find this video useful. Subscribe to be a part of Apex community. I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.